what initially uh, drew you to the to the story of this uh, project, this movie? Um, I hadn't really seen a movie like it, so that's always exciting when you kind of find a, a gap to uh, try and uh, do something uh, fun in. Um, I had seen other movies about three-way relationships or you know married couples opening up their relationship, but I hadn't quite seen it done in uh, the way you would see it, kind of a, your usual Hollywood rom-com. So the idea of doing uh, like a classic, you know, love story and hit all those beats, but to do it with three people instead of two uh, seemed really exciting and and, uh, and fun um, and different. Yeah, I was just excited. I, I loved the script as a whole. I also really, really loved uh, the character that I was auditioning for, Nina, as well as the uh, other actors and characters. And it just seemed like a really fun emotional roller coaster that I get to go on with a really cool group of people. Um, I thought it was going to be a challenge as an actor because I think to do Nina justice, she needed to have a lot of ups and downs, uh, but that attracted me to, to the part. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> great sides when I got this when I got the um sides for it for the audition it was super refreshing to have um you know such a just just basically on a couple pages just a character that I immediately already um could relate to and feel things for and um yeah so that, that's what really attracted me to it yeah, I mean, for me, um, I had never done a, a comedy before, let alone a romantic comedy. So this was, uh, you know, a great opportunity. And I know that Vic came from a television comedy background, you know, so I trusted his instincts and it was all there in the script. Um, and that's another testament to Vic's writing also is that initially, I, I don't know, are you, it, it was written as a web series oh, yeah. um, and then it was turned into a film. Well, first, but, first it was written as a movie. And then I kind of then a web you know, yeah. I put it back together. Yeah, it's but the structural integrity was was all there, so it, it worked. You know, either way. So props to Vic. <laughs> so what was done adapting it will be like a video game or something, <laughs> <laughs> or an app. I don't know. So what was the audition process like? Did you guys have to do a, a chemistry reading? Did yeah yeah we did. Um, I ad auditioned initially just by myself, I believe, and Victor was really making it hard for actors and gave us about 11 pages, um, but they were really good sides, so I was excited about it, and I had a callback chemistry read with uh, Ryan, and one of my favorite stories is when I heard his voice <laughs> in the hallway, <laughs> and this is true though, I heard his voice, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Drew. Um, I don't know what it was, but it just felt very, very right. And of course, when Kate read with the two of us, uh, I was like, oh, that's Olivia. Duh. It was just all very easy. Brian's got this great, like, drawl, kind of just puts you at ease, you know, that's kind of what Drew needed to be. Yeah. I, think it, I think in the script, Drew was a little bit more like, uh, robotic almost, or, you know, but like Ryan has this great like intelligence and sensitivity and like I don't, and I when he came in I kind of adjusted the character for that so I'm like this guy is definitely Drew I just kind of like move the dial on you know how Drew approaches things a little bit to make it work for what what Ryan's really good at so it was love at first sight for all, all three of you I think <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what was what were your favorite scenes to film uh, you know, I have a cup. I have a couple. Uh, <laughs> there's, th there are a few moments where like some of the super dramatic moments, weirdly, like they were kind of tough, but like when they would nail it, it would be like, whoa, I can't believe we got that. Like, um, but there's, there was one scene that was just really, really fun to film where a few of the characters take, um, uh, Molly and they're all like high on the floor. And um, 
the whole approach to doing that scene just to keep everyone in the headspace was to sort of all just talk to each other as if we were like high um just to do that kind of all night just so it so we didn't have to keep bouncing back and forth I felt like it would feel more real so even though I think that was probably really annoying to the crew uh it was really fun for us to uh, just be like oh you're good at acting you should do another take that kind of thing um go ahead Rach um uh favorite scenes favorite scenes Oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, I still go, oh, it's always dramatic for me. Oh, the Molly scene was one because it was just, it was so fun. And I, it, it was also very physical for me. I'm like crawling on the couch and on the ground. So uh, I liked the physicality of it as well. And uh, it was just kind of a loose feeling. And two other scenes, the, the tent scene between my, uh, myself and Ryan or Drew, if you will, where they kind of come to a climax in their relationship. It was emotionally challenging, but very fulfilling at the end because it felt so, uh, it felt like we kind of did it justice. And also the, basically the climax of Olivia's in uh, Nina's character, uh, where my character is quite drunk and they, they have it out. And again, also I found it challenging and it was really lovely to watch Kate as an actor uh bring the vulnerability to olivia um it was yeah it was, it was a good experience um, yeah, i think oh sorry kate go ahead ladies uh, first for me um i was really i'm always drawn to like the scenes that are the turning points in a film so um i really enjoyed a scene that i have with um nina rachel's character um when we first meet and I always think it's I, building that chemistry and the electricity between us. Um, I think I always have a lot of fun with those with those kind of moments because they're so um, pivotal. And then um, yeah, and then there's like a scene where Ryan comes um, into the coffee shop I'm working at and asks if I want to start um, seeing them again. And that's also a big turn. Um, yeah, so I like I like those moments and the most fun with those. Mm -hmm. I think for me the 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 most fun day was the Angela's Crest day up in the forest. That was bad because I think that was the first day that Chris and Jordy were on set also. So we got to do a lot of the was was that or maybe not. I don't remember. That was like last decade. Either, either way, they were both um, hilarious, and uh, I think we all it was a bonding experience being out there. Um, and there was a lot of improv too. You guys were playing games a lot, yeah. in the scenes. It was super fun. And then the the tent scene with Rachel, where you know that that happens at the end. You know, oftentimes you work with actors and actresses who will give all for their takes, and then when it's your turn to go and the camera is off them, they tend to turn off or phone it in. But but Rachel we shot my coverage first and time after time, uh, Rachel was always, she was right there. She was right with me with every ounce of emotion that she then delivered in her own takes, um, which was extremely, you know, powerful because it, it fuels you, you know, and it helps you carry on. Um, and then there was a scene with Kate and I, that was a subsequently part of it was cut out. Um, when I, when I go to, <laughs> to stay at her uh, brother's house. Um, but yeah, that was one of my, my favorite nights as, as well. Mm -hmm. uh, how, did, how did you approach portraying an honest and respectful representation of a polyamorous relationship? I think our, our theory, I think we all, I don't even know if we really discussed it so much. I think we all kind of just had the same idea of approaching it, of um, treating it like you would treat literally any other relationship i don't think we approached the subject matter uh i mean the, i think kind of the, a big part a big point of the movie is that this is just like any other relationship you know it's, it's, it has all the same elements it has the same challenges it has the same highs and lows and, and joys so i mean that's kind of baked into the script thematically uh so then i think when it came to actually doing scenes 
and talking about it, it was the same as you would uh, approach a, a monogamous relationship on screen, except there were probably just more discussions because there were more angles, you know? Uh, there's one scene in particular where the three of them are kind of having a fight and you're kind of trying to get all three of their points of view across. And so it's not just, I mean, in a typical movie, when a couple's having a fight, it's like one line, but this is like triangles. So you're trying to get all these different kind of competing points of view. Um, so the, I don't know, to me, the differences were more surface level and the similarities were what the whole thing was really about. Mm. And that's a testament to your writing. I mean, you were able to, you know, a, a writer with with maybe not less talent, but less like story sense would have had, you know, the primary couple dealing with the fallout of having this third person in there and kind of vilify them and that type of stuff. But you allowed, you know, me and Rachel to go off and have our relationship and then me and Kate to develop ours and then Rachel and Kate to develop theirs. And so you, you kind of got, the relationship from from all angles and hopefully we kind of it kind of sneaks up on you because it starts as like kind of a story about nina and she still is the main character throughout but over the course you and kate start getting more and more of your own scenes and then it becomes more of an ensemble over the course of the movie yes. i think as the characters are also learning to see things from other people's points of view maybe the movie mm. also kind of does that um, yeah that's kind of a, a nerdy, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, in there. Also, all of you can like carry scenes, you know. So <laughs> it wasn't just like, uh, you know, one person doing the heavy lifting. You all were approaching it with the same amount of depth um, and um, specificity. So you kind of want to see other people's perspectives uh, throughout. Yeah, I think uh, it's just been, it happened kind of naturally where we approached it as like, we're doing a movie about relationships, simultaneously um, respecting and honoring this specific like subculture, if you will, not trying to paint it in a certain light, just like these are people who have relationships they are slightly uh, less common. It's not about polyamorous relationships. It's about relationships, but it's just through the lens of a polyamorous relationship. That yeah. makes sense. All right. So, um, if you if you want your audience to take away one thing from the um, from the film, what what would it be? Okay. Um. Yeah. That. Um everybody is on their own journey and um having dealing with different things from whether it be their past um who they are now and just to i think it's refreshing this film is refreshing because um it shows a kind of like a taboo relationship but with no judgment and um there's trust between all of us and um yeah, I think it's, I would want someone to take away that, to not judge other people and not judge where people are in their lives or where they came from. Um, yeah, because at the end of the day, we're all, we all want love and we all want respect and um, yeah, no matter what kind of relationship that you're in. Ryan? Um, I would say life is hard enough as it is and we should all stop worrying about what other people are doing and just learn to live our best lives and let people live theirs, you know? And whatever your relationship journey is, you know, make it fun, keep it light, and uh, eat some Thai food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it goes down to um, hoping that people will start to reevaluate their preconceived notions and uh, not jump to judgment so quickly, right? Like we have judgments about a polyamorous relationship. We have judgments about um, a gay relationship, whatever it may be, uh, that to get to know people and you understand it. And it's like, we're all just human. 
and some people prefer one thing over the other or maybe two things over the one <laughs> yeah. What? <Or> three. <laughs> um yeah i i really want um people that are in the poly community to uh feel seen and to feel like uh we've done uh, justice to a, a three-way relationship on film and I also want people that are completely alien to that world and people who are in 40-year monogamous marriages to also find things to relate to in this. Uh, I kind of want to get people stirred up and and to think uh, maybe you know yeah rethink their preconceived notions uh, not just about poly relationships but about their approach to relationships at large and I want them to tell their friends to see the movie too because that's <laughs> that would be awesome yeah <laughs>